Hey guys, so it's 10 below zero here today. That's Fahrenheit. Uh, so that being said, I won't be going anywhere on the bike, but we are going to wire up the batteries and chuck them in this backpack. So stay tuned. Okay, so first let me explain why we're going with the backpack here. So this has tons of room in it and these are pretty small batteries like you can see next to my hand not a whole lot going on there um, but there'll be plenty for this build but basically I have room to upgrade batteries if I ever want to change to like a 36 volt system or something in the future and I don't have to worry about there being no room on this bike and building a whole rear rack and all that and another cool idea with the battery pack is that theoretically I can build more bikes and just keep swapping the same battery pack instead of having to buy batteries for every build. I just have one battery pack with a common connector. So that's kind of the plan today. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, so I got a little diagram here of how we're going to wire up these batteries to get uh, 24 volts. So basically uh, we're just going to jump the positive over to the negative uh, from the one battery and then take the positive run it to the controller and then the negative from the other battery and run it to the controller. And that's going to give us 24 volts that we need to run our controller and then also power our motor. And uh, basically this is what it's going to look like here. I already got this jumper wire started um, that I got some uh, soldering paste on and we're going to heat it up really fast with the big soldering iron. So hopefully we don't uh, melt any of the plastic there. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go ahead and give it a shot and get started. Okay, we got our jumper in place here. And then I'm just going to show you on the meter over here that the battery is live. So you can see we're getting about uh, 25.6 volts, which is perfect. So now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, wire up these other two. Um, and then we're going to run them with some uh, 12 gauge speaker wire over to one of these universal connectors here. Uh, I just had these in my scrap wire pile. And then I'm also going to put one on this AC adapter here that puts out 30 volts, which is good enough to charge this battery. Um, well, batteries plural. And then I have another uh, little connector that I'm gonna put on the e-bike over there by the controller. So then I can interchange everything. Okay, so I got our batteries all wired up now. Um, and then I also got our new connector on there and our nice thick uh, speaker cable. So this is all ready to go. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, put another one of these connectors on the battery charger here. Okay, so now I'm just gonna make sure I got this uh, little power supply plugged in here so I can test that I have the polarity right uh, with this connector. So on the battery side, positive is the bare pin, which is going to go to the covered pin on this connector. So I need to make sure the covered pin is positive and the other side is negative. It's a little hard to do with one hand here, but... Okay, so I got it right because there's no negative sign on there. All right, so I'll go ahead and solder and uh, heat shrink that up. Well, my heat gun died and my lighter was out of fluid and uh, <laughs> my hair dryer wasn't hot enough. So we'll see if this works for the heat shrink. Come on, shrink up. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so now I got the uh, connector onto the bike here. I'm just going to go ahead and solder that up just like the other ones. Um, and then we'll go ahead and test this out. Okay, so I got that little connector all wired up there. So now we're just going to go ahead and test to make sure our battery charger which is plugged in. We're going to check to make sure that's working. So right now, unplugged from the batteries, we got 25.6. I'm 
Just gonna go ahead and hook this up here. So now I got that hooked up and you can see our voltage is steadily climbing. We're up to 26.1 now. So yeah, charger is definitely working. Now let's go ahead and test out the batteries uh, hooked up to the bike here. I got it hanging on a little cable here so we don't have to worry about the bike taking off. It's gonna be a little faster because we have the correct voltage now. Wow. Okay, so I don't know uh, if that throttle is going to work long term. That is pretty on off, but uh, it's only 250 watts. But man, you can certainly tell it is running with a lot more power now that it has its full voltage. So that's pretty much it for today, uh, aside from basically just uh, taping up these batteries together and then tossing them in a backpack. But uh, I can save that for the first run video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. We have a complete bike now. All right, so I went around and I checked all the plugs, uh, like this one right here on the bike. And I also checked the batteries and everything and nothing was overheating. Um, everything was good temperature. So aside from that uh, pretty much toggle switch throttle, um, yeah, this is pretty much a win. Um, I got the uh, battery charging right now, uh, so yeah, um, but right now it's really super freaking cold outside, like we're talking like, I think it's like 30 to 50 below zero wind chills, so that being said, I'm probably not going to be riding this bike anytime soon, um, so that's pretty much the end of this season of Moto Toys, but uh, I plan on doing a follow-up. Uh, when we get some nicer weather, which might be a while. But uh, thanks again for watching, everyone. Um, make sure you subscribe. Uh, that way, when I do make another video, you guys will know. And uh, hopefully we'll be doing some more uh, motorized bike stuff later in 2021.